This year's Farmer's Almanac has arrived and its forecasts for the winter are bleak. These days winter seems to go one of two ways. It's either unbelievably sunny and mild or it's at the opposite end of the spectrum. Bitter cold temperatures roll in, chapping skin and freezing roads. Snow piles up and grinds life to a halt. The forecasters behind the Farmer's Almanac used an age-old top-secret formula to determine the type of winter ahead. And as expected, their forecast for 2018 is not a middle-of-the-road, hot and cold seasonal outlook. It's a bleak prediction of what's ahead. One horrible winter preceded the foundation of the Farmer's Almanac in 1818. Two years prior, the northeastern United States experienced what would come to be known as the year without a summer. Cold temperatures all year long prevented crops from growing, a situation that obviously hit farmers hard. With that agricultural nightmare written in the pages of history books, the Farmer's Almanac came up with its still secret formula for predicting the weather. They studied sunspots, tides and the planets to estimate how the year's weather would play out in 1818 and beyond. One of the key components in our formula is the moon and its motions, said the Almanac's weather person, whose real name is kept private to protect his or her identity. The moon has a proven influence on the tides and it's our belief that it may have effects on the atmosphere as well. The weather person went on, ocean tides can be accurately predicted, so part of our formula relies on the belief that we can line up certain weather patterns with a specific position of the moon and its orbit. Even with this information, much of the formula's elements are still shrouded in mystery. The Almanac's prognosticator uses it to predict 16 months worth of weather, stretching from September until the end of December of the next year. Farmer's Almanac editor Peter Geiger said, Our winter outlook is a tradition that, for two centuries, has been celebrated with cheers and jeers, depending upon what type of winter activity you enjoy. He continued, many people are hoping they'll need their shovels, but others are content to don their shorts all year long. As Geiger promised, this year's Almanac, the 200th publication in the book's history, did make some people very happy. But it did not enthuse anyone who wanted to spend winter donning sunglasses enveloped in unseasonal warmth. Cold conditions are back, the Almanac's website proclaimed in its forecast for 2018. It said eastern and central states would see their typical wintry weather with thermometers showing low numbers all winter long. The formula predicted that winter precipitation would come along with the cold. In fact, the almanac said there could be more snow than usual in many parts of the country, especially in the area from the northeast to the edge of the Great Lakes. The southeast didn't get away from the almanac's predictions without bad news either. Here temperatures should be chillier than the average winter. Even the shores of the Gulf Coast, known to be warm year-round, could see cooler weather with lots of snow. The only area predicted to be safe from an extra cold, extra snowy winter, the West Coast, from the Continental Divide to the Pacific Ocean. Although there could be moments of chill or heavy precipitation, this side of the United States should experience a mild winter on the whole. The Almanac's forecaster even pinpointed specific dates on which readers could expect serious snowfall. From January 20th to 23rd, February 4th to the 7th, February 16th to the 19th, March 1st to 3rd, and March 20th to 23rd. They suggested having a winter coat and shovel at the ready. Of course, all these predictions came with a grain of salt. That's because the accuracy of the Farmer's Almanac has often been a point of debate. Although the Almanac's website claimed an 80% to 85% hit rate, meteorologists outside of the organization said it was right less than half the time. Washington Post meteorologist and weather editor Jason Samnow wrote in 2013, Let me state emphatically that no one, with any degree of accuracy, can predict the specific days when cold snaps or storms will occur months in advance. He went on to write, at best, we can offer what amounts to an educated guess as to whether an upcoming season might be cold or warm, or wet or dry, compared to normal. We're right about these seasonal tendencies only slightly more often than we're wrong. Still, some meteorologists have cautioned to guess what winter will be like, and their predictions somewhat align with the almanac. They forecasted heavy snow and freezing temps in the northeast for starters, also known as winter. 
AccuWeather forecaster Paul Pastelock told Good Housekeeping, this year is going to bring a good ski season to the northeast and around the holidays we should have some snow for the interior northeast. AccuWeather meteorologist and the Almanac both said western states would have a mild winter. The former disagreed with the latter on the southeast forecast promising a similarly warm winter. No matter which side you believe, one thing is certain, well it's nice to have a general idea of what's ahead. We'll have to wait and see what's ahead in this season and beyond. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends below.